my name is Javier Sopeña and I come from Spain. I've been several days here. Well, I began visiting this campsite when they started the first 100 HIMAS. And since several days we, we can't get out from here, the foreign people that want to follow this problem closely can't get out from the campsite because if nowadays if we get out from here uh, the police and the army, the Moroccan police and the Moroccan army won't let us come back again. Uh, while we were here in the last five days more or less the campsite has grown up. Now it's huge, it's like 20,000 people living. And in the meanwhile, Morocco forces, the occupation forces, built up a wall made, made from stones, which is one meter and a half size. This wall surround all the campsite and even from the from the outside of, of Layum and their 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 goal is to prevent Sahrawi people from getting from getting in the campsite without being controlled by Moroccan authorities. It means to follow the Smara High Road. Uh, 15 kilometers passed by three controls. The first one, Moroccan police, the second one, Gendarmerie, and the third one, Gendarmerie and Moroccan army. In these controls, people are forced to, to show their face, to identify themselves, and Moroccan authorities every day arrest some of them, some of the people that try to come here. So that's why the people don't don't want to follow that way. Uh, uh, several days ago, uh, one of the Sahrawi Land Rovers that want to get in the campsite, as many of them used to be usual before, for the Sahrawi people to try to get in the campsite using another way, using the desert, go directly to the desert in order to avoid the. Moroccan control and the response of Moroccan authorities always was throwing stones and beating other people that try to do this. When they find you in the desert in the way to the campsite they attack you using stones and violence. Uh, until one day the, as everybody knows they kill, they open fire and kill one guy and there were several people injured by bullet. <coughs> so even nowadays there are still cars that try to get into the camps going up the this wall with their land rovers and every day we can see here land rovers that comes completely destroyed by stone. All the 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 windows broken, and this, uh, the wheels destroyed, and everything. And the people that is in the car injured, hurt. Uh, apart from this, there are many problems here in the campsite, usually related to the medical attention. There are just two, there is a, some kind of little nursery right here, and there are just two nurses to attend 20,000 people. It's just primary attention. They don't even have enough medicine for everything. So that's one of the human problems that we can see here every day. As well, we can see that the, the, the well, the well, the, the place where, where the storage the, the, the water is not enough for all the people that is living here even that water is not potable so it's just to clean the dishes and this dish up, dish up. 
the food, for example, is stored. The people that have more food, that they are, they have more food than what that, that what they need. They give it to the direction of the campsite, and they are in charge of delivery to the people that don't have food in the campsite. And our job here is to identify all these necessities. Um, register them and film them and film what is happening every day here in order to let the people know what is going on and to try to get some help.